Okay, so what's your first name? My name's Phil. Phil, and um, what's wrong with your ankle knee? But what, what is it? I have a fused right ankle. Right. Which causes me when I walk to hyperextend my knee. All right. Which has caused arthritis in my right knee. Right. And causes pain. Right, okay. Uh, so, how are we best seeing this? Uh, if you. Um, yeah, cool. Itself. Right, okay, and so there's no movement in there, right? Very little. So. Very little, right, okay. And can you do the same with the left side so that we can see that as well, just to show what it should be like? Yep? Yeah? yeah, cool, right, awesome. Right, now they're going to do the knee first, which is surprising me because I would have thought they did the ankle first, but they're going to do the knee first. They're going to take away the pain from the knee. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. No, no, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, what happened? Um, felt like a red hot needle had actually been pushed into my ankle. Yeah. Amazing, eh? It isn't, but what I do is truly amazing. It really is, it really is. Okay. Right, just try extending the knee, see how the knee feels. Go walking on it. <laughs> limp's always going to be there because my pelvis is shifted. That may or may not be true. <laughs> <laughs> I play with that with my beliefs. That may, When I run something through my mind, it may or may not be true, okay? So how did the knee feel as you were walking there? Felt better, yeah. Felt better, no pain? A uh, little bit. A little bit, okay. We're going to still clear, clear the energy of the knee first then. Now that's very, very unusual. Normally they'd work at the exit point for the... Um... Yeah, I understand. The exit point for the energy, but apparently there's another surgeon working on the ankle, so I don't have to worry with that. Right, so let's just try moving that ankle again. How's that feeling compared to how it was feeling? A bit more movement in there? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, cool. Right, just try walking again. shoe off on the other foot. I'm going to work on his whole back into the hips and we're going to see if we can get rid of the limb. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be very impressive. <laughs> There'll be a few doctors wondering how I do this. I'm just doctors. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're going to need to stand here. All right, so the surgeon that's worked, yeah, so if you come and stand where I'm standing, that's it. The surgeon that's working through me is called Dr. Augusto, <coughs> and usually when I work on the spine, the doctor that works is called Dr. Oswaldo Cruz, or this one's Dr. Augusto de Almeida, so um, that I know that's significant, so let's see what happens. E Surgeon trying to produce sound is the one's moving my body. It's like never, none of my videos have got that movement on. Shaking my head like that. That's, how does it feel to you, Phil? What's that mean? There's like a funny kind of round there, like kind of warm. Warm. Let's 
little in the knee. Let them in the knee. Yeah, sit down again. More water for me. She's only water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my dad was a publican. He used to have pub the Rock and the Mars out at Towton. And he's like, yeah, he had a publican. So I'd seen spirit world, you're not allowed to drink. <laughs> now, there's a responsibility that comes with this gift, and one of the things is uh, alcohol. Not having so much of it because there will be no control mechanism and uh, I'd attract some of the wrong kind of spirits. Spirits attract spirits. <laughs> Definitely not, not limping as much, eh? Awesome, give me a round of applause.